Uh, there already has to be a sequel to this because um, I'm enjoying it. <coughs> <coughs> no, it has got me thinking about a lot of things around that sort of time in my life. It was 2014. It was 2014 I got Netflix in the summer and I probably watched it for about a year and like I've, I've had conversations about Netflix to Dr. Blooperty. Years ago, five years ago, I was talking to Dr. Blooperty about Netflix. Um, because I, I can remember joking about it. So in Like, I'd suddenly found I could watch films, even films I wasn't particularly enjoying. Because I've never understood that about people who could do that. They watch films, like, that's all right. It's something to do, wasn't it? For a bit. Whereas with me, it always had to be a really fucking good film. Like, I could only ever watch Star Wars. I love Star Wars. Um, so I can instantly just tune into Star Wars. I didn't like the last one. That was the first one I'd never been, I never went to see it, the pictures, and I saw it just after I moved house when I went up to Ipswich to see my friend. And I've been really fucking looking forward to seeing it. It was bollocks. It was, what the fuck was that? What the fuck was that? Seriously, it was shit. Um, <laughs> <coughs> but, Noticing my ability to watch series and films on Netflix was something that I'd spoken to. It was like a sort of objective marker for me. And it made me think of a lot of other things I was doing around them, because obviously I was at uni. And, you know, I had to develop things, like ways of, of, of managing stuff. Because for someone who can read for nine fucking hours straight, when he's just had an idea pop into his head, and can read quite scientific fucking... I can understand most scientific journals. They all use fucking words that are way beyond most people. Way beyond most people. But I, I know enough about them to, like, stand back and look at the mechanics of the situation without bothering myself with the minutia. Um, and I can find out some pretty fucking decent shit. I can give you a good answer. <laughs> people have used me like that before. They've they've told me as well. They've been quite upfront with their manipulation, which I don't mind if they're being complimentary. So I just I'd fucking just say it in front of you and then I know it'd set you off. And it was like that is a, that's a part of me that's gone. That's a part of me that's gone for for the moment, definitely. Um but I was like I can remember having to read journals and when you got to read journal after journal looking for something because you're trying to sort of formulate an idea and you're looking for an evidence base of something that supports your argument because you've got to use generalized evidence on a topic to a specific case study that you've been given and you've got to, you've really got to fucking like well to be honest me I used to just think about what I wanted to prove first and then set about proving it <laughs> um a lot of the time <laughs> <coughs> I've got my degree. I didn't do Brill, but hey. <laughs> um, but I used to be able to read basically at like 500 words a minute or something. There was a pro one of the programs actually got going where you could load one of the journals into it. And even on like reader ones and whatever, it would be able to recognise the text. And uh, it would flash the word up like yellow, the word that it was speaking. And then you just, I'm sure it was Reader I spliced it in with because you can have the read out loud on that. And um, it, I'm sure it's 500 words a minute, it might even be more. But it's like faster than anyone could fucking listen. I fucking guarantee it. And I'd just do it and it'd be going, and I'd be going, fuck me, I'm reading it. <laughs> Little yellow thing. Going, and you're going, fuck me, I'm reading it. Seriously, try it. It's cool. Um, I'm not sure of the, like, the, if, I don't know if Reader does the coloured bit. I only managed to synchronise it fully once and I was, like, fucking gobsmacked by it. And I was actually thinking, fuck, I, I, I retained it. I, I know what it means. Now when I look at it again, I know what it means. Because normally if I read something I don't understand, I have to then go and do it and experience it. That's why I was saying YouTube fucking helped me with my degree because a lot of the things I would be reading about I would look at and watch in the clinic and then go back and see it or I'd look at animations on YouTube of, of like complex fucking biological fucking biochemical reactions and shit like that 
and I'd get what I was on about. Um, I seriously have forgotten so much about what I used to know. I was a fucking boffin. The, like 2017 probably, I was a fucking boffin. I used to just spout all sorts of shit. And it's by and large fucked off the lot of it. <laughs> so, I don't know anymore. <laughs> don't really know. <laughs> um, yeah, that, that, that sort of, that whole mode of thinking, of, of construction of thoughts and processing of, of information and applying dynamics of, principles and that sort of shit I used to be able to just do and uh, now I can't. <laughs> I can't I can't I can't tie my shoelaces <laughs> I really can't um that's why I, I have thoroughly enjoyed my elasticated boots <laughs> that I've been wearing because you don't need to tie the shoelaces and you can just stand in them to put them on and you can tread on them to get them off. That's what shoes should be like, right? You just go plonk, plonk. That's all you need to think about is aiming your foot at the trainer. <laughs> and then it's in and then it stays on and you walk. <laughs> Accomplishment. But yeah, um, there's certainly no harm in returning to looking at some of those coping strategies, those practical ones because like what I found at uni was like I said before I was telling them that I was having trouble with my my attention span once I was sitting at the computer and their answer to that was to give me seven programs which would take me hours and hours and hours of computer time and I basically felt like I was saying but Michael then you'll be able to think like we think we know that you can't think like we do so here's some special things to help you think like we do <laughs> that's how it felt but um you know I tried them with varying degrees of success and then I came up with my own weird ones like do some washing up in between like sentences on a fucking paragraph and when you're thinking about how to word a conclusion one of those sort of miniature conclusions that you make along the way to then indicate the next part of your fucking oh my god I was rubbish at doing all that shit my essays were poor um because of my my erratical thinking. Um, and yeah, God, taming it to that degree was exhausting and fucking just ridiculous. Just ridiculous to expect of myself when I realise what I'm like, when I, you know, when I fully started to accept what I'm truly like. And that, you know, that's what was underlined when I walked onto a building site and then just started being able to sing and be me while I worked. And it was just suddenly I was like, fucking hell, I remember you. I remember me basically was what I was saying um, and I could just think and do a lot more easily <laughs> um, but you know like it's interesting it was just interesting for me in that last video to look at like all of those similar influential factors but what I'm doing with them and where it used to be more of a sort of even flow from one to the other. The guitar used to live on the bed next to me, basically. And I'd be just sitting there. I used to, like, have it up against the window so I could lean. I'd, like, I had quite a lot of uprightness. I could just reach for the guitar, lay it, put it down. Da -da -da, you know what I mean? Um, whereas now, like, the guitar's sitting there and quite often I want to pick it up. But my fingernail is a bit painful still. Um... But a lot of the times it can be like the telly's just noise and, you know, I'd be playing the guitar, but I'd just just play some chords over and over and I'm sort of half watching the screen. And then in actual fact, my mind's just wandering through fields of shit. Do you know what I mean? And, 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 and suddenly they're not, they're not pleasurable, hobby type, pastime, chilling, chilling. I mean, not chilling, like scary. Um, just, you know, they're, they're reaching out for useless coping strategies that are just like, Ugh. I can get like that with stuff when I've got loads of entertainment around me and I can't engage with any of it. It's like, <laughs> it's kind of a practical version of what it can be like when I can seem really unfriendly to people, but it's probably like, you know, if you're a guitar personality, I think I fancy a guitar personality. So I pick you up like I pick up my guitar and then I play you. 
<laughs> and then I go, no, I'm not into the guitar personality at the moment. I want the TV personality. And so I sit there and let you entertain me. And then you start to bore me straight away. So <laughs> then I look for another one and then I'd look for music or whatever, whatever, whatever. <laughs> and um, that's a really weird analogy. But it's maybe it sort of explains how I, I can want to engage and want to chat but find it extraordinarily difficult because of just that. Again, it's that wandering child ADHD mentality which governs everything. Makes me want to have tasks completed straight away and done. What do you want me to listen to you? I've listened to you. Well, I've done it now, fine. <laughs> Slow fast forward. Done, 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 done. My brain is just continuously going, I've done that now, I've done that now, I've done that now, I've done that now. Yep, move on. Yep, 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 done. Yep, done. Next one, come on, done. It's just, it pronounces fucking all sorts of things. Done. As they're happening. As soon as they start happening, done. Because <laughs> this one is the fucking... It's the fucking moment. It wants everything to be like a fucking conveyor belt. Sure, that's why I like DJing. Because it's just another another different thing. Another new thing. Another new thing. So I always like mixing. That's why I can't mix trance. It's way too many long fucking breakdowns. Oh, fucking hell. All oh, right. All oh, right. And the moon and the clouds and the unicorns and Bambi's mum came alive and all that. Everything, it's lovely, it's beautiful, la la la, come on, seriously, I can go and have a lie down and come back, I've done that actually to some techno gents, <laughs> while I've been live, I'm just, I'm just going to go and fucking lie down, put my head on the pillow for a bit, <laughs> just stand there chatting to the camera, there's no one, no one online, <laughs> lie there chatting to the camera, <coughs> anyway, <coughs> The re the reawakening of Netflix has actually been quite thought provoking and um made me look at a lot of interesting comparisons and a lot of um interesting things to keep in mind and to take forward and to, to take the learning from. Oddly enough, Netflix has has, has been <laughs> therapeutic, dare I even fucking say it. You heard it here first, they should make a Netflix documentary about this. How someone has found Netflix fucking therapeutic for once. 